Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to talk about four simple tips on how to improve your videos. Hit it! Let me start by saying that I know there's a lot of content out there, but uh, these four tips have been very useful for me and I think they can help a lot of people. So let's get started straight away. Tip number one composition. So I'm mainly going to be talking about a phone and vertical mode video, so like with a phone, and so vertical means like this. Come on, you can find it, yes. So the first one is composition. Let's say if you're shooting someone like me right now, and when you're doing like an interview with someone, and you're, they have to speak to the camera, it's quite obvious, I know, but we do not want to make put the composition like that, right? Or like that. We want to center them in the center of the frame, get them completely centered like this, and get them to look at the camera. Yeah? Very, very simple, I know, but you have no idea how many videos I've seen that just, um, yeah, don't work. So you place your subject in the center, yes? I know generally when you're filming video, you will not hear many people say that because with cameras, when you're shooting like this, you do not want to place your subject in the center. You want to place them in one of the sides it's called the rule of thirds. So you put them or in this third or in the other third, but with an exception for vertical mode. Vertical mode, when you shoot in this way, you want to place them in the center, okay? So first of all, composition, place your subject in the center of the shot. Number one. Number two, lighting. Oh, it's so important. So let me show you. So for example, now we're shooting and I am next to a window. I mean, obviously I have a nice light, but the nice light is like on 0% practically. So I could literally be shooting the video here like this and look how nice it looks, right? Looks pretty nice. Why? Because you have the light, the natural light from the window spilling out. So this is getting very heavy, so let me put it down. So you would... We're back. So you will be shooting close to windows. I always, every time I go for a shoot, a photography, videography, or even just for weddings, I look for windows straight away. Where are my sources of light? Where is the biggest, the bigger, the bigger the window, the better the light. Because it's diffused, it's big, it's coming from everywhere. We love that. So find the window and place your subject in front of the window. This means that you need to be standing you need to be standing where I'm standing. As you see, it doesn't look very nice. So you're standing here with your phone, like this, filming the other person. And on the other side, you have the shot, which looks nice. You see? Hello. Yeah, so it looks nice because you have the light coming in from the window. It skews all this movement. But this is real talk, real talk. So we keep it real. Number three. Number three, sound. Oh, sound is so important. So, so important. I don't know how good this sound is. I have a little microphone on top, keeps falling off, but uh, sound is very important. So just listen to my room. No sound, or at least a very, very low sound. So if you're in a crowded place with lots of noise, again, these are no brainers, but you have no idea how many times I receive videos or like, yeah, I receive videos that just uh, have so much bad sound because there's some loud noise in the background or even just a bus passing by, someone screaming at the top of their lungs and the people filming don't even realize because they're so focused on their shot, on the subject saying and speaking to the camera, they're so engaged that they do not realize what is happening in their background. So make sure, please make sure that there is good enough sound. What does that mean? Do shooting a place where it's crowded, do shooting a place where there's lots of people, feel free, but make sure that your sound is coming out clean. And by this I mean that you can hear the voice of the person without having to find it difficult, yeah? So I would recommend if you're shooting in a place like this, in a room like this, make sure you put background music underneath. Meaning, if it's completely silent, like now, now I've taken away the music and you can hear that there's like, it feels a bit empty, right? Like this, I'm speaking here to the camera, I'm speaking to you here, and it just feels a little bit like something is missing, why? We're not used to complete silence and just listening to someone speak, at least not online for sure. So we need some background music, something to smooth it up, let's putting it back up now. You feel it, you know, you feel it coming up and you feel the music is there, the whole video feels a bit like, you understand. 
you need some music, but this is not one of the tips. So the tip number three is good sound. Make sure you get good sound. Let's say as last thing, I go filming and I'm filming a little interview with my phone, uh, filming someone to put maybe on Insta stories for some promotion or something. When I finish, I say thank you. I go and I listen to it again, because when I listen to it again, then I will notice what has happened. S both from a visual point of view, maybe a sun starts moving, maybe a light comes in, maybe it just looks bad, it doesn't look as good as they actually looked on location. You know, you move to another room maybe. And maybe you listen to it and someone was screaming in the background, or there's a baby, or maybe someone says some something they're not supposed to say as they walk by the camera. Oh, please, check your footage, check your video before sending it or before putting it online or anything else. Yeah, number three was sound. Number four, last one, movement, camera movement, or iPhone movement, or just the movement from the phone, some kind of movement. It's so important. Let me get my phone. Okay, so, for example, when I'm shooting with my phone, I'll screen record, I'll just record now so I can put it over. Okay, let's say, like, for example now. So I am filming with my phone, and I can just be filming like this. And you see like, it's just, it's a bit bad. <laughs> I'm moving around, it doesn't feel very right. Or maybe I start moving around like that or like that. Like, it's not good, it doesn't work. So you place your subject in the center, yeah? And then what do you do? You just slowly, slowly move like this, you see? Very slow, you don't move with your wrists. You can see here the iPhone. You don't move with your wrists, but you move like this with your body, with your waist. Doesn't look very good because I need to be standing. So if I'm standing and I'm like this, this is very typical filmmakers to be in awkward positions. Don't be afraid. So you're like this and then let's say I do this movement. You see? Pushing in, pushing out. I'm going quite fast now. This would be if I want to do many cuts, I can do the same video. For example, I place here, three, two, one pull out, cut, and then I do the same three or four times, put all the videos together, and it feels like it's always going back in many, many different places. So cool, we've seen it many times. Or, you see, you have this thing here. You can place it, I, I usually do this a lot. I place myself, I mean, possibly not a screen, maybe something else, but you place yourself just behind it, and then you just do like this. You see, I usually do it a few times. Looks pretty cool. I mean, it would be nicer if it wasn't a screen. Let's do it like this. Like this, you get very close and then... You see that shot? Okay. So these are just a few examples of movements that you try and do slowly, nice and slow, and do not move your wrists. You know, you, you put your elbows here, just like with a camera, and then you just move your hips and slowly put your weight from one side of the other of uh, your legs and in this way you will have some cinematic incredible b-roll if you can shoot in slow motion even better but these are four tips for you today of what to keep in mind hope this can help in any way in some way and uh, yeah this is my video for this week and uh, hope you enjoyed it